here one night or two in only four trucks. Come on back, brother. Please subscribe, brother. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Only Four Trucks. I am a little south of Baltimore, Maryland, delivering the uh, galvanized steel from a couple videos ago. You guys saw I got loaded in New Jersey if you watched that video. And it's time to deliver that stuff. And we got an interesting little job site to get into, a uh, tight little back end, so hopefully I can get it done nice and easy. And we shall see what happens. I'm gonna have to take another bite at that because I can't follow it around. There's something on my, my right side. No big deal. That's what happens when you first pull up and the traffic doesn't give you enough room to do what you need. Now I should get it. It's the interesting thing about backing up a truck and trailer. People always you know, look at the trailer and get so concerned, but you gotta think about the truck in front of it too got to make room for everything and I know in the cameras you guys can't see what's in front of me sadly I don't have another one but uh, I'm working on getting a 360 camera figured out here the old man just got it for me for the channel and I got to try to make it work but we're doing all right with this, just these angles for now okay I'd like to get away from that little stone edge on my driver's side but I didn't know what passenger side was looking like just yet I get back there I gotta swing a hard uh, you know 90 degree turn to the passenger side and cut it into a driveway and I don't know how much room there's gonna be for the tractor to follow it around either so figure that out as I go Like there's a decent amount of room it's just guessing on the swing you know I got to judge it early to shoot it around visibility is at a minimum
pull up because I'm going to get too close to that Mazda back there, which they were talking about moving that Mazda so I could park where it is, but we haven't got that accomplished, so I'm going to back around it. Almost a one-shot deal there. I'd rather overswing it than, you know, undercut myself because I can't see the corner of the trailer that would be in the in the way of hitting something on the if I was to cut it too short. So I'll always bite a little extra to be safe. Yeah, I mean, almost a one-shot deal. Not bad. Hopefully, we can get this stuff unloaded pretty quick, and I get a. Uh, fly back home just a couple hours south of uh, Philly so not too shabby As you guys can see, it's not going to be a super fast process, but uh, it's easy. Yeah, I'm excited to uh, get this stuff off and fly back to uh, the city. And might have a somewhat early day, decent day for myself, so not 100% sure what I'm going to do yet. But uh, I do have to deliver the bad news that I haven't made it up to the R700 yet. I, uh, I do have the brake valve and everything, but I was just busy over the weekend after work, so I didn't get the chance to go up there, but uh, get up there soon enough. And, kind of better it worked out that way because I want to get the foot valve in and then yeah attempt to drive it but then also I could start taking things off of it and figuring out how I'm going to go about you know doing the metal work and stuff on the truck to get it ready for the, the next stages of its life so yeah one step at a time but you know at least I can get a full day out of it rather than just going up to do one little foot valve so it all works out but yeah I will let you know when we get back on the road and then we'll do some trucking. I'm gonna see if I can't make this left and then another left to get out of here. Can't answer you right now. That's the goal. Should work out. Now it's telling me to go that way. I came in from the other way. This guy moves.
This is just perfect. It sounds so good. guys highways boring when I get off back in Philly I will uh, throw the camera back on give you guys a little bit more good shifting and then we'll wrap this one up all right guys well we're finally off the interstate and uh, heading back you know to park the truck I am uh, hoping to run up to Diane's because I have to go up there anyway to get something and I'm hoping I uh, get this foot valve in the R700 and maybe take it for a ride uh, if that works out and that'll probably be the next video you guys see and if not then i'm hoping to get to it this weekend which there's also a little show at the mac museum this weekend uh in allentown there so i'm pretty excited for that um yeah it should be uh should be pretty good overall but i am hoping uh i am hoping to get this valve in like i said that'll be ideal just one step you know closer yeah, I'm hoping I can give you guys one more run through the gears before uh, before we wrap this one up. So, let's see what we get here. I'm sitting here thinking I say, uh, a lot. You know, uh, like we're going to drive, uh, work on, uh, I need, need to knock that off. Daisy. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe. And, uh, you know, as usual, see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, brother, over here.